Hey, hey, what's up? Gaming Addicts Commune back at you here. Just got a quick tutorial video. Just got my fire stick. Um, so I'm just going to show everybody how to install uh, Code Eye in a build or, um, or an add-on, uh, whatever you prefer. And we might talk a little bit about a build versus, you know, an add-on a little bit down the road here in this video. But as of right now, fresh out the box, just opened it up. So I have my fire stick, I have the adapter, I have the cord and I have the plug. So <clears throat> all you're going to do, you are going to plug your fire stick into the HDMI prong. Okay, there, tight fit, connect that. This part here will connect to your smart TV. That's where all the downloading is gonna happen. You will take this part, the uh, droid cable, I'll call these a droid cable, um, which is kind of cool because, I mean, hell, if you lose this quarter, it's broken, you know, um, you can always replace that a lot cheaper than you can like Apple products, Jesus. Uh, so, you plug it in there, and you take your plug. And then you just insert. Now this can either go for your computer or to that wall outlet. Me, I just use the wall outlet. And that's how I'm going to also show you uh, that's where my installing is going to happen. It's gonna happen through my TV. It's not gonna be on the computer. Um, it's not an Apple or a, um, an Amazon TV. It's just a regular Vizio. So uh, again, straight out the box, we are ready to go. Uh, next step, email. Um, I would suggest starting an Amazon Gmail or email. I mean, <clears throat> you're going to get spam when you sign, when you use your email, because you do have to use your email to log in to, when you first register to get started. So I would suggest just starting an Amazon one. So that way you never have to worry about it ever again, um, unless you use Amazon for other things. Uh, again, whatever the case may be, me personally, I don't use Amazon. I use eBay. So... Uh, yeah, I have an Amazon account just for this. I get spammed every once in a while for stuff, so that's why I, I went that route. So yeah, that's where we're at. We're now about to plug this into the TV, this part into the wall, and then we will, after you set up your email, that's where we will pick up, okay? We will pick up right at that moment. I might do just a little tutorial just to show in the very beginning what happens and where to go so you can do your whole email thing, but um, yeah. We'll be back. All right, so here we go. So the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to download the app that is going to allow you to get Kodai in the first place. So you're going to go to your search setting. You are going to type in downloader. Now, a newest version, um, you had to, or the old versions, you had to type out the entire word downloader and it did not pop up. Now, as you can see, when I started typing, it did pop up. So I personally still type it all out, but you're going to pick downloader. Um, as you can see, it's orange. And then once you pick that, you're just going to install it. Once it downloads at that point in time, as you can see, you got the, uh, the app. So now what you are going to do is once you have that installed, you are now going to go open it up and then you are going to go to the settings on the far left. Once you're here, you're going to enable JavaScript that will enable you to install Kodi because it is a foreign source. So uh, that helps with that whole process there. Once that happens, then you're just going to go back to the browser. And then from here, you're going to back all the way out. You're going to go to the settings at the very top. And what you're going to do here is you're going to scroll all the way over to device. And then you are going to scroll down to developer options. Then you're going to turn both of these options on. Again, you're not going to be able to install Kodai because it is an unknown source. So once you turn those on, you're just going to go back to the downloader application that you just installed because now it is time to install Kodai. Now that you've given the Fire Stick permission to go on ahead and do that. So just type these words in uh, that you see here me typing in on the screen. 
and then once you type that in you're just going to install it and let it run its process so we'll go on ahead and uh, let it do its thing and then we'll pick up once it's done all right it's done so now we're just going to scroll down we're going to go to the android symbol and we are going to click on the android symbol once that pops up you're going to scroll down to see the other android symbol then you are going to click on that one as well you're going to click in the middle 32 bit right there in the middle click that one as you can see it's downloading so we're just going to let it do its thing And then once it's done downloading, all you're going to do is open it up, or I should say install, I'm sorry. Go on ahead and install, sorry about that. Once it installs, this is code I, it's going to automatically open up, congratulations. You have now opened up your brand new Fire Stick and you have now successfully installed Kodai. So now what it is time to do, it is time to load it with either an add-on or a build. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the settings up top. You're going to scroll down to file manager. You are then going to go to add source and you're going to type in these words exactly how they are. If you mess anything up, it will not work. So just type all of this in exactly how you see it on the screen. What this is here, this is an actual build. And what a build is, what a build is, it is a whole bunch of add-ons that are put on into one place for you. So you now have multiple movie sources in one place instead of downloading each add-on that's going to have movie sources and then you don't like that one so you might try another add-on and another add-on and another add-on this one is going to put all of them into one place for you so you don't have to search all over the place this is one i use personally so it's my favorite one so i do trust it once you have entered that in you are just going to back all the way out and then you are going to scroll down to add-ons then you're going to click that open box at the top. And then once that happens, you're going to go to install zip file. Follow these instructions. You're going to go to settings. Then you are going to go to unknown sources. Again, you are going to say yes to that. Then you're going to back out. And then go right back into install from zip. Then you are going to go to the file name. You are going to open it up. Just click on it. You will wait for a logo to appear in the top right that says you have successfully installed. It takes a little bit longer since this is a build. Um, normally I add on it would have popped up by now, but since it's installing so much information, it does take a little bit longer for it to pop up, but it definitely will uh, as long as everything is working properly. So just give it a couple of seconds. I mean, you use judgment. I mean, you, you know if things are working or if they're not, but you'll see it here eventually. And I am letting it play real time just to give you an idea of how long it could be because some people, when they do their videos, they'll fast forward the time to make the install time seem shorter. But uh, we're going to let it go real time so you have an idea of what's going on when you're installing this build so you're not freaking out, especially if you're doing it the first time. And you know, your confidence is real low on your skills for installing add-ons and things. So, yeah, so we're just going to let it run. There we go, it is now installed. So now what you are going to do, once you see that, you are just going to let it do its thing. It will automatically open. Some builds will require you to uh, start over, some don't, but here you're just gonna scroll down to continue, nothing major. Then you are going to install it and you will see it do its thing. You are going to scroll down, um, in this case here, uh, you are going to go all the way down to, uh, let's see, it is the, well, I uh, just follow, you'll see here, I'm kind of looking at this while I'm recording, so I apologize for that, but uh, what it will do, um, what I will do, I should say, is I am going to scroll down here to, I can't even remember the name of it, Mach 1 Light Krypton, that's right, Server 1 is fine for me, I've never failed at anything else when installing this, so I would just say Mach 1 Light Krypton, Server 1 2.3, um, and then you are going to go to Standard Install. Uh, you can do fresh, but again, I go with what works and how I learned, so 
Standard is perfectly fine. So go to standard, just install it. And then once this is done here, it will open up. And from there, you just have to figure out what you like to do and how you like to do it because you want to have, have, have access to everything. So that's really all there is to it. So you have now went from opening up your fire stick to now having all the free TV that you really possibly could like. So I would just like to thank you for bearing with me through this entire procedure. Uh, now, this one is a little bit different. So again, follow these instructions. I did forget about this because I've never had this happen before. So just click install. You're perfectly fine. It's not going to mess anything up. It's not going to change anything. It's only going to make it run better. I did forget about this. So go on ahead and just do whatever it says right here as far as installing. You're not going to lose anything. It only takes a couple of seconds. So again, no worries. It will restart. Once it restarts, then your build will be installed. Just let it run a couple of minutes in the very beginning so that way it gets you know everything on there for you up and installed and running and going successfully and all of those good things like that. And I mean, here it is. I mean, that's the build. Uh, it's loading up for you. As you can see, again, I'm doing all of this in real time. So, you know, it's not taking long for everything to happen here in this category of TV shows and everything that you find. My category personally is the fantastic category. I have yet to have a problem with movies or shows or anything playing in that category. Again, the fantastic category is what I recommend in these sections here. And yeah, that's pretty much it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So <laughs> thanks for tuning in um, and enjoy. I uh, Just stay tuned, uh, comment, like, subscribe. I'm always uploading these things because they're always changing. So um, yeah, just let me know what you think about this, this video and We'll go from there uh, again. I appreciate it. I'm just going ahead and let this play on out so you'll kind of see what happens uh, with just selecting something. So I'll just let it play on out. Enjoy the rest of the video and, and y'all have a have a good rest of y'all's day. I did forget, though, this video that I'm playing at the end here. You know how black shows up on TVs in general. There's I mean, only so many TVs play black really well. So number one, there's that. And number two, let's be honest, I'm recording on my phone. So recording black on a phone, it's not going to look too hot. So please don't take the quality of this video and play it to the quality of the video that is actually recording because it's a damn good copy for as new as it is. Again, me personally, I seen it in a theater. I would suggest seeing it in a theater, but I just wanted to show you that this thing does play. Now, the other movies that are a little bit older, obviously not as new as this one. Again, we're talking 720, some 1080p subtitles, everything like that. So it's there for you. I just don't want you to look at the quality of this Black Panther video that I'm about to show you. And I don't want you to think that the overall quality of the Mach 1 player is ass because it definitely is not. All right, so yeah, that's about all I got. You guys just enjoy the rest of the video. And again, have a great day. Gaming Addicts Commune, I'm out. Millions of years ago, a meteorite made of vibranium, the strongest substance in the universe, 